A uh, museum will open in New York next week, dedicated to honor the victims, rescuers, and survivors of September 11th. But one of the exhibits is already stirring controversy for its depiction of the organization behind the terror attacks. NHK World's Maki Hatae reports. The new museum stands at ground zero in southern Manhattan. On Thursday, President Obama joined local government officials, victims' families, and others at a solemn dedication ceremony. Wells believes that we are all connected as one human family, that we are here to look out for and to care for one another. I want to express our deep gratitude to everybody who was involved in this great undertaking for bringing us to this day. For giving us this sacred place. The museum is built on foundations of the towers collapsed by the attacks. 70 feet below ground, the main exhibit hall houses mangled steel beams fell from skyscrapers, a damaged fire truck, and victims' personal effects, among many other remnants of the site. Carefully edited but painful pictures of those who jumped from the towers are also exhibited. We took extra special care to balance the exhibition so that it doesn't traumatize those who are stakeholders or survivors of the event, uh, but that it also tells the entire truth, which is part of the mission for the museum. A small part of the historical exhibit touches on the 19 hijackers. A brief documentary, The Rise of Al-Qaeda, is being displayed in an attempt to explain the background behind the attacks. Their objective was to replace those governments with religious states organized according to their own strict interpretation of Islamic law. This film has stirred religious sensitivity within the 9-11 community. An interfaith advisory group to the museum criticized the narrative script for the film. They pointed out words like Islamists could be misinterpreted as Muslims in general someone who already wasn't clear on the difference between Islam and Al-Qaeda would not get enough explanation out of this video. There are serious concerns about the victimizing of innocent Muslims. The officials say majority supports how the museum has been organized. Still, there are other controversies about the museum left unresolved. The debate over what this site will ultimately represent will continue and there may never be a final resolution. The National September 11th Memorial Museum will open its doors to the public on May 21st. Makiatai, NHK World, New York.